The 2016 election, 18 months from now, but it's game on for the U.S. Senate. As Charles Benson reports, it's turning into a rematch between Russ Feingold and Ron Johnson. Yeah, back on the ballot, Democrat Russ Feingold is looking for a second chance, but Republican Ron Johnson, the man who beat Feingold, wants a second term. And my desire to serve is stronger than ever. It's Russ and Ron in a redo. Feingold announced online he wants his old job. He's hoping to reconnect with voters who elected him three times to the U.S. Senate. And let's fight together for change. That means helping to bring back to the U.S. Senate strong independence, bipartisanship, and honesty. Senator Johnson has moved up the Republican ranks during his short time in Washington, but says bringing down the deficit remains a priority. An awful lot of the, the, the blame can be placed on those individuals that when they had a chance could have voted for a balanced budget amendment and didn't. Of course, Russ Feingold did that four times. Keeping his seat will be a challenge. Here's why. In 2010, a non-presidential election year, Johnson won with more than 1.1 million votes. But in 2004, a presidential year, Feingold won with 1.6 million votes. Game on for now as the presidential cycle returns in 2016. We're likely to see a hard-fraught national campaign for control of the Senate, and the Wisconsin Senate race is likely to be one of the more competitive, if not one of the most competitive, of those races. And a Marquette Law School poll last month found Feingold up 54 to 38 percent over Johnson in a rematch. Mike and Carol. The race is on. Thanks, Charles.